That's all we're doing. Just determine if it's one, two, or no triangles. Now, automatically, do you guys see I only have one angle, right? So I know I'm going to want to have my sides above my, the, my angles above my sides. And I can create a ratio here with B and C. So I'll do sine of 82 degrees over 17 equals the sine of big C over small c, which is 15. Cross, uh, multiply by 15 on both sides to isolate my sine of C. So I have sine of C is equal to 15 times the sine of 82 degrees all over 17. Calculate. So now we go ahead and type in, get in our calculator, and we simply just type that in. And we say 15 times the sine of 82, close my parenthesis, divide by 17. And again, I get sine of C is equal to 0.87376594.3. But we don't need to write all that in. You can just keep that in your calculator and just do sine inverse of your last answer. And I get C equals sine inverse of my answer. And I get 60.9 rounded. Okay, so that's case one. If I want to do case two, what I do is subtract 180. So I could say C2 is going to equal 180 minus C. So I just do 180 minus my last answer. And I get 119.101. Okay, so is it possible for me to have two answers for C? Well, if my original angle is 82, I could have 82 and 60 and find an angle B, right? Or an angle A, right? Yes? But is it possible for my two angles of my triangle to be 82 and 119? No, because now that's over 180, right? So in this problem, I only have to do the one case. I don't have to do the second case. Does that kind of make sense? OK. But if it was like 